Hey guys, it's, it's me, me, Yeet, Mr. My, my Money Twerk, twerk. My, my Money Turn Up himself. And today I'm going to change your life with three methods that are out of my hands. Why only three? Why not ten? Or even five? Listen, I'm Yeet, not the goddamn Monopoly man, all right? I don't have all the answers, but I do have some. So if you want G-Wagons, big, big Money, money Big, big balls, balls, here's three ways to get money that I can't. Method number one, Rule 34 Artist. The two reasons why I can't do this is one, I can't draw for shit. And two, if I did develop the skill, I don't care how much you're paying me, I'm not drawing 19 inches of venom. Got rejected from art school? Well, instead of going DEFCON 3 on the Jerry Seinfelds of the world. What's, What's the, the deal with airplane <laughs> You can still put all that knowledge, knowledge or lack of to use. Cause even with shit art skills, you can make some money. But trust me, the more skill you have, the more dough. So don't let all those years of shading practice and drawing anatomy go to waste. If you can make your drawings look realistic and super detailed, you'll be a millionaire. No question. Wanna level up the bag even more? Get Blender and start making Overwatch porn. There's more people that watch that than there are people that play the game. Seeing how high quality most of it is, you could probably find some tutorials on how to make them on certain Patreons. So even though a lot of it could be wild and at some points traumatizing, Rule 34 made a lot of my 14 year old fantasies come to life. It's the only reason why I have read it. Don't believe me? Ask my dad. Huh? He don't be minding his business, getting texts saying, I got notifications that you were on a bunch of unsafe sites at two in the morning. Like, damn, can I enjoy my Sofago tentacle hentai at peace? So I gotta give props to most of the people that make this <laughs> art. Keyword most. Some of you need to be beheaded on live television for your actions. Method number two, electrician. I know what some of you bums are thinking. Oh, but that's a real job. Yes, but there's a bag to it. Let me explain. With colleges making more and more useless degrees to milk money out of kids, and more and more people wanting to pursue streaming as a career, blue collar jobs are now more valuable than ever, and they be getting paid right for their jobs. They don't play about their coin. They don't play about their Skrilla. When I was working at the gas station, construction workers and tradesmen would always pull out hundreds like they're trying to go band for band with me over my monster energy drinks and cigarettes. They really be putting the blue and blue collar worker. And before I continue, don't be thinking I'm too pussy to get into trades. I'm trying to get into plumbing next year, but there's certain trades that I just wouldn't do. And the most popular of those trades is being an electrician. I'd sell meth before I'd become an electrician. I remember a story my teacher at trade school was telling the class to let us know that trade jobs are dangerous. He was talking about how an electrician buddy of his was working on a power line and he got electrocuted. He was getting fried by so many volts or bolts i don't know the terminology all his limbs blew off bro turned into that guy from metallica's one music video and i just thought that shit was fucking terrifying if i was in an electrician's class i would have left and never came back what would even be the plumber's equivalent to that drowning no one ever drowned so hard that their limbs blew off ever since i've heard that story i've respected electricians as much as our troops some people will put their life on the line for a camaro others for a ram truck so i respect the commitment matter of fact i respect respect electricians more. Soldiers don't usually go to war every day electricians do and i know in plumbing there will be occasional dangers that you'll come across that's just a part of trades but compare that to an electrician where every day is the more you fuck around the more you find out there's no contest in which has more risk but they make bank i mean i rather just fix seeks and lay pipe but if the consistent danger doesn't scare you or if you're black lightning it's a great career choice before we get to our next method a quick word from our sponsor Disclaimer, this is not intended to be taken as financial advice. I do not condone these actions. This is satire, and it's by no means telling you to do these actions. Method number three, harvest organs and sell them on the black market. It's like what Malcolm X said, by any means necessary. This is what he meant when he said that, right? I don't know, long ass book, long ass movie. Back to business. The reason I won't do this is because I have morals. But for my guys that like to get that fast money, that root of all evil money, owner of a car wash and a beauty salon to clean the money, this method is for you. Think about how many dime bags you have to sell to 
equal of the profit of one kidney. And that's just one body part from one person in a realm full of 8 billion people. You got an endless supply of cash cows. You can also sell your own kidney and small chunks of your liver. Both vital organs you can sacrifice. And here's the best part. Your liver regenerates. So that's an infinite money glitch right there. See, the government just teases you with plasma donations. But you can do so much more outside the law. Now that you got the bag, it's time to make money with the money where you sold either your kidney, soul, or nerves for. It's time to make investments, whether it's owning a food franchise, Taiwanese people in your basement for your clothing brand, property, or just a personal business. And once you start getting returns on your investments, you can finally afford DoorDash. So get your money up and not your funny up. Like if you're a real one and subscribe for more cultured content.